Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to the QQQs. Just wanted to do a review here. And, you know, it's interesting. I looked at this gap that happened back on the 15th, and I even rated the gap per my own rating system just to double check and see if this was really a good gap, a quality bearish gap, if this was actually going to have some meaning here in this overall chart of the market. And it did not rate per my system to qualify as a quality gap to trade, like the one that I would have watched to trade to the downside. It was like right on the cusp. It was just under the point rating that it would have been playable for me to do to be real. So I said, you know what? I'm going to just see how this goes. You know, it, it doesn't rate high enough to trade. Therefore, I'm going to let it be. Now, as it turns out, it actually did move red on the day. It didn't have any follow through, though. Didn't have any follow through. Didn't rate over 20 points. Didn't have any follow through. And now here we are, one, two, three, four, five, six days after the fact. The market has completely reversed the gap. So it's done for this thing. And it was nothing but just a regular gap. There's lots of times in charts that things gap up or down, it doesn't matter, but they don't have to be significant. A significant gap is one that changes the trend in an overall stock chart or even the market because the market gaps too. And in fact, the market gaps a lot. The market gaps more than stocks gap, just the very essence and nature of the market. But I still can qualify, and you can too, if you learn how to rate gaps from me, rate market gaps to determine if they are really something that is significant that you need to keep an eye out for that's going to change some type of trend. And I never thought anywhere in here that we were anything but bullish. And and even even here, when we were holding, I said, this looks exactly like this over here. It's exactly what it was. And we were holding. And we could have come down. I had the numbers written down for us to come in here. I said, there's no way we're going to break this level. But I really was fine with us even pulling in more if we wanted to. We still would have been bullish. We still would have been an uptrend. Even if this had followed through for a few days, it still would have held in here and still would have been bullish for the market. But we, we didn't even do that. I mean, we are so strong. We didn't even do that. And then we gapped up a lot in the morning of Friday. And I said, I think we're going to pull in first. We did. And then the market was heavy in the afternoon here over around this period here. And I actually thought we were going to come in and retest the low of the day then. And, and actually even possibly break it and just trade red in the day. But we still would have been proving the bullishness Friday no matter what because where we gapped up and gapped up over that gap and held so well. But as it turns out, we didn't even do that. We actually held really bullishly into the whole afternoon here. It doesn't matter that we didn't get over the high. We held so well. Um, and in fact, I think the spies got over the high. I have to look at the spy chart. But the Qs held beautifully in the middle of no man's land, open at 76.73 and closed at 76.67. So it basically was a neutral open and close. So this is like a little doji. But the tail formation here is bullish. Why? Because the market traded down red all morning and that held itself very well and came up. And it could have come in here. It actually could have come all the way down to 76.20 or even 76. But we didn't do it. We are bullish. I've been saying that for weeks and months. We are bullish. We are absolutely bullish. This really was a bullish gap that happened here. It's not one you would have bought, okay, but it's just another bullish gap in this chart of the many, many bullish gaps that have been in here all over the place. Here's one here. It's very evident. Here was the other one here, and they're all following through higher and higher and higher. So this coming week, the last week of the summer here, last week before Labor Day, Last week before the holiday, it actually looks like we might break out and go higher and make new highs here again. Really, we, we seriously might do it right this last week in August, which is so interesting going into the fall, going into the fall period. So we'll see what we do. We could squiggle around here a little bit the, the next five days before we go higher in September, but we are higher. I've been saying it all along. There's nothing stopping us now. And again, so important to read trends in here to see what's going on in the overall picture. I know if you look at all this, here, let's go back. If you look at all this, it's confusing for people. They're not sure. We're in an uptrend. We're a downtrend or we sideways. But the reality is that we are in an uptrend in the market. We are doing continuation gaps all along. And even the gap downs that are happening are going nowhere. And they could. I mean, they could go somewhere. But every time we gap down, we hold and trade red for a day, if that. And then we just hold so well. 
and we've been just holding so strong, so strong in here. Look at this. Look at this. We could we could come down in here if we wanted to. We could have, but we didn't do it. So market is higher. Market is absolutely higher, and that's how I've been reading it, and I continue to check it and double check it and recheck it and just triple check it, and that's why I rated the gap even the other day because we did trade down on that day back on the 15th, uh, but it didn't rate high enough, so I didn't really pay it any mind. And figured if anything, it was a pull in and it could have pulled all the way down into support down here and it didn't. I can tell you one thing for sure. We're not going to break this area here. I have like 100% conviction that this is solid as a brick. So, you know, we could squiggle around in here again next week or we could just continue higher. Looks like we're going to gap up Monday morning. The way that we closed here on Friday, we just ran out of day. Remember, time is an indicator in the market made by us as humans who set the time of the market and when we trade. And if the market had continued to trade all weekend long, I'm sure we would have flipped around and gone green. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. This is a QQQ market review. Have a great weekend, everyone. Look for the market to be higher next week. If it wants to, there's nothing stopping it now. We've set the tone. It's reinforced anyone that thought we were top here coming in or shorted that bearish gap. It's flipped around now. It's way over it. And we're higher in the market. We are in a bullish uptrend. 2013, this is it. Looking up into the fall, the fall looks like to be a very bullish time in the market, unless something tells me otherwise. But for now, we're up, up, up. So have a great weekend, everyone. If anyone would like more information on how to read gaps, rate gaps, read trends, or any of the classes that I offer, please feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks.